Hello poetry lovers and poetry curious. We are back with two more poems by Tony Hoagland. Um, again, if you didn't see the first of these, Tony Hoagland is a very well-established poet. I'm not sure if he's still publishing, but he certainly published plenty during his time. So if you um, look him up on Google, whatever, you should probably find that there is a at least a Poetry Foundation um, page for him, entry for him, and I would suspect you would also find a, a Wikipedia entry. All right, we're starting with Benevolence. When my father dies and comes back as a dog, I already know what his favorite sound will be. The soft, almost inaudible gasp as the rubber lips of the refrigerator door unstick, followed by that arctic exhalation of air. Then the cracking of the ice cube tray above the sink and the quiet ching the, the cubes make when dropped into a glass. Unable to pronounce the name of his favorite drink or to express his preference for single malt, he will utter one sharp bark and point the wet black arrow of his nose imperatively up at the bottle on a shelf. Then seat himself before me, trembling, expectant, water pouring down the long pink dangle of his tongue as the memory of pleasure from his former life shakes him like a tail. What I'll remember as I tower over him, holding a dripping whiskey-flavored cube above his open mouth, relishing the power rushing through my veins the way it rushed through his. What I'll remember as I stand there is the hundred clever tricks I taught myself to please him and for how long I mistakenly believed that it was love he held concealed in his closed hand. All right, how it adds up. There was the day we swam in a river, a lake, and an ocean. And the day I quit the job my father got me, yeah, quit the job my father got me, and the day I stood outside a door and listened to my girlfriend making love to someone obviously not me, inside. And I felt strange because I didn't care. There was the morning I was born and the year I was a loser, and the night I was the winner of the prize for which the audience applauded. Then there was someone else I met, whose face and voice I can't forget, and the memory of her is like a jail I'm trapped inside. Or maybe she is something I just used to hold my real life at a distance. Happiness, Joe says, is a wild red flower plucked from a river of lava and held aloft on a tightrope strung between two scrawny trees above a canyon in a manic depressive windstorm. Don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. And when you do, you will keep looking for it everywhere for years, while right behind you, the footprints you are leaving will look like notes of a crazy song. So there you go. Two more by Tony Hoagland. I will eventually get a book of his, but it's hard to say when. <laughs> but eventually on this channel, hopefully, there will be more Tony Hoagland. All right, take care, and I will see you soon. I think this is the next poem I'm going to read right here. Take care. Bye-bye.